It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer and today I have something maybe a little bit unusual for you guys. This is a bottle of Krabby's Stout. It's of course Krabby's Ginger Beer but it's been blended if you like with, with Sadler's Stout. 4.2% ABV. Uh, they've, they've kind of gone with the whole new neck thing on here just to make the beer stand out on the shelf. I picked this beer up in Home Bargains. Um, always go to Home Bargains, you can always get a good bag of sweets, you can always get a good bag of crisps, you can always find unusual stuff in Home Bargains. Hence tripping up and finding this beer on the supermarket shelf. If you're watching from around the world, around Europe, in America, Home Bargains is like a, um, just a discount store that sometimes gets hold of bankrupt stock and sometimes gets hold of weird stuff like this. I always poke my head in once a week. I actually picked up a load of American craft beer that I've never seen before in there. Um, it was the pet company that started to produce beer in America. They produced a really good Imperial Stout, barrel aged Imperial Stout. Anyway, off we go. Woo -hoo -hoo! Nice bit of smoke on the beer bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. So as they brewed this with a ginger beer, because it's a blend of two beers, I'm not really expecting it to be jet black. If it was just a plain stout, then yes. Because they blended it with a ginger beer, a lighter beer, you're gonna get a little bit of light bleed at the bottom of the glass there. You're definitely gonna get that. You can see it perfectly there in the camera. See that little bit of uh, what's that, like a reddy, ruby red colour. That's probably a better represent representation of what my eyes are seeing with the beer. Good carbonation, one finger head, white head, let's get the aroma. I'm interested for this one, guys. It's really, really quite gingery. And... If I'm honest, it's the, for me, it's the other way around. Even though it's a Krabby's beer, and I'm thinking it sh or or what it should be really is ginger beer first, which it is. It's very much a ginger beer on the aroma. I'm quite surprised that the stout flavour in the beer, especially with the colour of the beer, is not more prominent. Normally, when you get something with a stout. It, you get some roasted milk, you get some chocolate, some coffee, some caramel. This is dominated by that ginger beer aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, it's really interesting. I didn't know if I was going to stand here, um, I was going to start swearing at the camera, or I was going to start waving my arms in the air and I'm really losing my temper about this beer, or I might have found it acceptable. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on the acceptable side here with this beer. Lots of carbonation. Lots of ginger. There really is quite a bit of this kind of ginger flavour coming through on the beer. Of course, it's Krabby's. You're gonna you're gonna fully expect it to be a ginger beer if it's got Krabby's written on the label. What I'm looking for, what I'm looking for in this beer, I'm looking for that stout to shine. And unfortunately, the beer is just dominated by that that Krabby's ginger. Beer. It's got. It's even got that ginger burn as the beer goes down. There is real ginger in the beer. Um, let's really put our taste buds to the test. Let's really 
just try and block out all of that ginger and try and concentrate on the stout features that this beer should have. There really is none. I'm trying my best there to, to, to block out all of that ginger, but I'm I'm just I'm just picking up the crabbies if I'm honest. It's coloured. It looks like a stout. But really I don't know. I don't know. They, they, it'd be nice if they if they if they said how much of the stout. I thought it was Mud City Stout. Now this is telling. If you've ever had Sadler's Mud City Stout, then it's more of a mild than a stout. It's not really a prominent, big, bold, fat stout. It's more a dark mild than a, than a stout. So I think this is what's happening here. If they used if they combined a real big, thick, roasted, malty stout to this Krabby's ginger beer, then I think you'd be thinking to yourself, you'd be tasting the beer thinking, yes, this, this tastes of stout. But because Mud City Stout by Sadler's, which they've used in this beer, is for me more of a dark mild, then it's just tripping up on itself. It really is tripping up on itself. Let's rate it. With it being a beer from Krabby's, Krabby's, Krabby's Ginger Beer, I don't mind too much that it's really prominent with ginger. I'm just a little bit disappointed that it's the, the stout aspect of the beer has been, uh, it's been diluted, it's not really in the beer at all. Uh, you could probably taste this in a blind taste test and it would just say well, it would just taste of, of, of sad, of, of the, the, the crabbies are getting mixed up now. Crabbies ginger beer. But then again, as I said earlier on in the review, I didn't know if I was going to start waving my arms around in the air, shouting about this beer, how terrible this beer is. It's been none of that. None of that. It's quite a pleasant, pleasant beer um, for a ginger beer. It's a... Oh, it's a 6 out of 10. It's a 6 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.